Yeah, well, very much the, um, the match we prepped for and the, the one we will prep for, uh, well, less than 24 hours from now, do this all over again. You know, uh, really, really happy for our guys. Um, we, you know, we had a, a great, gritty performance to get back in the first set. Um, that really, you know, kind of boiled over into the second set and played a good second set. And, uh, you know, didn't play a great third one, but played real well in the fourth and fifth sets. And, uh, you know, the deal for us, as we continue to pass the ball and get more balance in our offense, um, we started blocking more balls. I thought we were great from the end line serving, creating problems. Uh, and super, su I'm always really proud of our guys, but really proud of the guys who came in who haven't seen a lot of action in uh, Shane and, and Ethan. They both did a great job bringing energy and athleticism and execution to the floor. But uh, huge, huge credit to Hawaii for the match they played. Um, those are two really good volleyball teams, uh, very similar to the end of last year, and we expect a lot more of the same tomorrow night. Did you have Shane marked down for four kills and a block and an ace in the pregame plan? <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I mean, no, talk, but, talk about subbing him in and obviously the job well, he did. Well, you know, we, uh, for whatever reason, we just weren't getting a lot of production there. Sometimes it's the connection. Sometimes it's the hitter. Sometimes it's the setter. Whatever it might be. It doesn't really matter. Shane's been playing great in practice. He's a handful against our starting unit every day. And uh, it's the reason why he's played a little bit down the stretch for us because of everything he's doing in the gym. Same with Ethan. They've both been getting reps on the first side all week long. And when the opportunity came, then they went in and they were ready to upgrade. So huge credit to them for, uh, for being ready to upgrade us. Coach, tonight you guys had the, the pyramid, had the second highest attendance in men's volleyball at the pyramid. Can you talk about how electric the crowd was and what it did for your team? Yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. What an amazing environment. You know, we, we have a great student section. We have a loud crowd. Um, you know, the, the pyramid's such a great place to play because the fans literally are right on top of the court. And uh, you can feel them, you know, and the energy that they were bringing to us, especially in that fourth and fifth set. So, yeah, we, uh, we love it. Be louder again tomorrow night. Um, bring a friend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know if there's a lot of room for a friend. Maybe some of them bring a friend. Uh, no, but uh, the, the Long Beach volleyball community is so knowledgeable of the game, and th they are so passionate about their volleyball. And they are there are so many people at the games right now that are not just here because of this season. And uh, of course, there's the excitement of one versus two in the season that we've had that r you bring more. But I'm really, really happy for a lot of these people that have been here for for years. And uh, they're a big part of this whole journey. They're a big part of the Long Beach Nation, and, and believe me, we feel it. Uh, what would you say was the difference going from set three to set four and five? It just seemed like a completely different focus and energy uh, after that third set. Is that for TJ or for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, <clears throat> Well, when we got in the huddle there after the third set, it was it was a time for us to reflect. We we understood how the game was going to go. It was a slugfest, you know. And we had to battle through some of the things because they came out and served great in the third set, and that was one of the things that we tr uh, had a trouble with. But um, it was just a mindset flip of it's going to be a battle, go back and forth, do what we can, and do what we can the best we can. Um, Jordan, TJ, can you guys just talk about what Hawaii does well? I mean, they're, they're obviously very big. They, they do a lot of things well. But what are the specific challenges they pose for you guys or any other team that you know are, are sort of tough to contend with? Yeah, I think, uh, like you said, they're, they're big guys. They have a lot of physical size. And Joe does a really nice job of running that offense. You know, and then the, they also have Gage behind them, you know, digging a million balls, which is great. For, you know, they do that really well. But the, just the speed of their offense is what I think is a good thing that they do. Oh, OK. Um, well, from, yeah, their their physicality is probably what, you know, gives most teams, you know, trouble. And as well as their heat from the end line, they can get on a couple balls. Um, but again, it's just uh, how c we can adjust and take every advantage that we can in each uh, different rotation. TJ, you and Kyle went wild out there tonight. Can you just talk about the performance and how it was performing in front of the crowd? 
Yeah, I, um, like like Jordan just said, they bring a lot of heat from the end line, you know, and every once in a while that causes some problems for us, And but we were happy living in the medium system at the tempo line where we have to set the ball from. You know, so that, that sometimes gets in the way of setting the middle, and so we, we you know, took the job and took the understanding that we have to be good on the pins because they're blowing us up and we're pulling it back, then we have to be good. Uh, TJ, Jordan, what? how big was it to get this win when you're, about to go into postseason play. You know, you could see them next week and in a few weeks after that. Just how big for confidence was it to get this win? Um, well, for a lot of us, it was we really only care about which which game is next. And so we didn't want to put in too much of hoorah into just a game because of it was one versus two. But I mean, realistically, we could all kind of feel like that kind of energy there. But we want to avoid the noise. Um, but for confidence-wise, I mean, yeah, it's a great thing. But I mean, if anything, we're just going to keep going back to the drawing board, see what we can adjust and fix and be better in the next time. Uh, for TJ and Jordan, uh, do you think emotions are going to ride high for you guys tomorrow with senior night coming up, last last match of the season? Mm, I, I, I think there's going to be a little bit of that. And it's going to be something that we're real. It's, you know, it's going to be something we're going to talk mm -hmm. about. Um, but ultimately, what it comes down to is we're going to play the volleyball the way we play it, and the one way we know how to do that is the Long Beach way, and that's what we're just going to be focusing on tomorrow. Alan, from from your perspective, we talked a lot about this, you know, the Big West back-to-back -back nights thing. Um, how does that? There was a certain feel as everyone was leaving, and you know, he's saying on the PA, you know, we're going to be back here in 21 hours or something. How? Uh, what does it do for? A rivalry series or whatever to know it's like okay go home and get some food and a little sleep and you know we'll see you back here yeah i think it's uh it, it's as close as you can get to professional sports you know where you have uh, an nba or uh you know world series or whatever where they're slugging it out and they, they have to play one night and then turn around and come back and and do it again um there's it, it's not easy it's not easy for anyone especially the players you know when you play a match like that but you know we're we're built for it. We we, we train for it, and and we'll be we'll be ready to go tomorrow night. However, um, you know it's on the flip side of that. It's it's pretty darn exciting for the people that got to come watch it and know they're coming back tomorrow night to see the sequel. Um, and I think that all this was on TV, the massive crowd and two really really talented volleyball uh, volleyball teams. I think it's great for our game. It shows where our game is nationally right now. It shows the collegiate level. It shows the Big West stepping up like it did last year to showcase volleyball. And um, I know Charlie feels the same as I do. Um, we're just really happy to represent the Big West at this level and have so much excitement around the brand of volleyball that we can play in our conference. And we're not the only two teams in our conference that can play like this.